what America was and what it can become. This is Liberty Town Hall. Get your DVR or your VCR or whatever you use to record shows going because this is going to be a really big Liberty Town Hall. We are going to be talking in a two-part series on goals that the communists had in 1958. That what are still here today. That are still here today. That's what I was going to say. What Absolutely. relevance do they have today? We'll have full details. You're going to find out about it and be stunned at some of the things that are happening today that were goals of them back in the 50s. Ugly stuff, my friend, is coming, but you need to let your friends know about this episode of Liberty Town Hall. Attention inventors, don't let big business patent your idea or invention. New patent regulations will affect patent rights, especially for inventors like you. Call Innovation Direct now to get free information on protecting your idea. Learn how our exclusive patented licensing technology has helped thousands of inventors. Only Innovation Direct offers this program with an exclusive and patented licensing process. So who's cashing in on your idea? Call now for free information, a free DVD, and a free consultation on the most innovative patented licensing technology. Take your product to the next level with Innovation Direct. Get your invention out in front of manufacturers who trust Innovation Direct and our 20 years of experience. Take action now. The new patent regulations will affect your rights. Call now and we'll send you a free DVD packed with information on licensing your product. You must call now to protect and license your big idea. Call Innovation Direct now. Thanks for being with us at Liberty Town Hall. He's Glenn Wilson. I'm Greg Marshall. Appreciate you stopping by today. I'm going to discuss a little bit about something that some people will look at us and laugh at. Bill Clinton made a comment not too long back during the presidential campaign. He said, I don't know what these Republicans are talking about. Oh, well, excuse me. I messed Bill Clinton there. I don't know what these Republicans are talking about. There has been a communist existed in the last 20 years. Sorry. It's not a perfect one, Glenn, but it's good. It enough. was close enough. <laughs> <laughs> what we're talking about is... I'm just going to go back in time a little bit. Have you ever heard of a book published back in 1958, a long time ago now, by a gentleman named Cleon Skousen called The Naked Communist? <laughs> Are you familiar with that book? I haven't read it, but I'm familiar with it. I've heard, heard it. about it. Huh? Absolutely. It has a list of all the different um, goals of the communists, correct? To be fair, it didn't originally. The book originally just had, uh, was talking about the communist takeover, but didn't have the 45 listed goals. So just that 45, was put in a later edition. He broke it down into 45 segments in a later edition. Not 45 segments. Or 45, 45 goals within right. it and explain where they're going. I want to go over that list a little bit today, and I want to encourage you to read The Naked Communist and check it out for yourself see what you think. Let's take a look right now at The Naked Communist list of goals. Now tell me how many of these do you think is happening in America today? All or right, here happened. we go. Roll them up. Let's see what we got. U.S. acceptance of coexistence as the only alternative to atomic war. Explain what he means by that. Coexistence means that we allow them to continue to exist. We don't fight to get rid of communism. We allow them to keep their nuclear arsenal without challenging it. Coexistence, some people would call capitulation to an inevitability to allow them to exist. So more of a balance of power all around the world. Or MAD, remember MAD, Mutually yep. Assured Destruction. destruction yep. So that's really a coexistence, and coexistence rather. But that's just getting along with the communists, not just being a communist. That's just saying they want us to get along with them. Exactly. Okay. Except their, their, uh, their ability to be who they are and continue to allow them to be without trying to overthrow a government, change it from communism to capitalism, what have you. Now, they never did that. They were constantly overthrow, trying to throw, overthrow governments. Oh, absolutely. And, and they did it in numerous ways. They did it by bribe or by force. Take your pick. And a little bit of both a lot of times. Well, Cuba, they did by bribe. 
They so, sure did. Mm -hmm. How about this one? U.S. willingness to capitulate in preference to engaging in atomic war. How many times did we see the line get drawn and we step back? The line get drawn again and we step back. How many well, times that's what's did we going see on it? Just with, in our lifetime. Well, that's what's going on with North Korea. Look at how many times we've uh, played this game with Iran. Same thing. It's mm -hmm. happening here today. It yes. is indeed. Develop the illusion that the total disarmament by the United States would be a demonstration of moral strength. Name me the president that has called for several times the end of all nuclear weapons by the United States unilaterally. As we disarm, others will feel the need to disarm. Others will disarm. I president Obama has made that very clear numerous times. I guarantee But you. so has Bill Clinton made statements along those lines. Several presidents have. Absolutely. I guarantee you, my friend, if I live next door to you and I come to you and announce that I am going to get rid of my firearms in my house, I'm going to get rid of my baseball bat. I'm going to get rid of But I can't go look in your basement to see if you got them stashed down there either. Let's pretend that even if I did, mm -hmm. even if, just play, play me right here, even if I did do exactly what I said, answer me this. Riddle me this, Batman. Tell me right now. You as an individual, would you get rid of all of your guns just not because I did? Not a chance. Why? Because you're not the only one on the planet, for one. There's other people out there. There's other neighbors that, you know. What if I was the only strong one? You and I were the, the strongest guys in the county you live in by far. We were bodybuilders, muscular men, trained in the arts of jiu-jitsu and taekwondo leap and all that good stuff. What if we were the only ones and nobody else could challenge you? Well, would you, get, would you feel safe to get rid of all your guns then? No. Why? Because a tyrant's right around the corner no matter what. Why doesn't this president see that? Not, not Why everyone doesn't presidents is before see not, that? Not everyone is benign. I mean, there, there is people out there that will look for a chance for weakness. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they And they exploit it. Absolutely. They exploit those weaknesses. So as soon as you let your guard down and you're no longer a strong and... Um, leadership role in the world, then somebody else is going to try to knock you off your block. That, that, that invites an attack. But if my house is uh, surrounded and protected really well, the deterrent alone is going to keep it in check. So you don't have to use those weapons. So I think deterrent is a, a stronger weapon than the weapon itself. Permit free trade, another on the list, between all nations regardless of whether or not the items could be used for war. Is that appropriate? Free trade versus fair trade. And war items versus not war items. Yes. It's a very complicated statement to be lumped all together. But, but it is. So take it for what it is. Do you think that goes on no. in America today? No. You because, don't? No, I, I believe it's happening all over the world and we're allowing it, but I don't think And that doing it ourselves. Yes, and I don't believe that we should be. Uh, for example, you have Iran trying to get the, the bomb, and you have North Korea that has the bomb. Should we allow them to just move it over closer to Israel? <laughs> really, that's what's happening. So, no, I wouldn't think so, no. But that's what's happening today. give you a good example. Before the, Ara the second Iraq war, do you know what the, uh, the Iraqis into their military were caught doing? Hmm. They couldn't get a hold of specialized computer parts. Right. Yep. Do you know what they started importing through a third country? Computer games. Computer games. Absolutely. PlayStation 2, to be exact. Because the computer technology that goes into the games... Can be is, modified. It, it, it's state-of-the-art. I mean, if you really want to get like a, a 3D simulator the military uses to train, well, those are games now. I mean, that's where most of the stuff is developed is in the video games. They would tie games in are literally on the le leading edge. They would edge. tie in several games together. Mm -hmm. to create the computing power necessary to operate high-tech equipment, and that's what they did. Absolutely. And, it, and as there a, were a chip level program myself, I'm telling of, you, it's very easy to do. There were PlayStations inside of fighter planes, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Amazing technology. It, it's built and, right in. And ingenious. Right. Ingenious to the level of, of American ingenuity. And the government, the government said, well, like Windows, uh, I believe it was Windows uh, 7, or even Windows 98, I think they went all the way back to that wasn't allowed to be exported out of the country because of technology was in it. They never stopped it. No, nope, they it, never stopped it. But Tell you what, there's they, more they to talk about, about when we come back. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. It's good talking to you today on Liberty Town Hall.
thank you, America, for making Mighty Bite one of the best-selling lures on the market today. In only two short years, we've sold over three million pieces. What makes Mighty Bite the most revolutionary lure on the market today? It's our features, our bite mark, our insertable scent stick, our interchangeable swimming fins that make Mighty Bite look alive. All these features combine to give Mighty Bite its unique wounded action. And now the complete Mighty Bite fishing kit is yours for only $19.95. You get 10 Mighty Bites in time-tested colors and sizes with all of the hooks and hardware you need to land the lunkers. But wait, call now and get the Mighty Bite Big Bass Bonus Kit. It's a $20 value, but it's yours free, plus processing and handling. Mighty Bite Hand Five. Woo! Oh, yeah. Catch them all for 90 days, a full fishing season. And if Mighty Bite's not the best you've ever fished, return it for a full refund, but keep the Big Bass Bonus Kit as our free gift. Don't let this one get away. Reel in the Mighty Bite now. Here's how to order. Call 1 800 309 0629. Thanks for being back with us on Liberty Town Hall. We're talking about the idea of whether communism exists or not and looking through the eyes of, eyes of history to try to gain that. Uh, the Naked Communist is a book written in 1958. We're going over the list of communist goals that appear in, in later publications of the book. And I'm trying to see through this list and through the eyes of 1958, over 50 years ago now, and taking a peek and seeing exactly what is going on historically today. And you tell me whether they exist or not. Glenn, we're going over it and talking about uh, the list. We left off with extension of long-term loans to Russia and Soviet satellites. The name has changed, but we certainly were doing loans to Soviet satellites in Russia. Which brings up my favorite subject of the Federal Reserve. Mm -hmm. You know, w one good thing is the Federal Reserve's charter ends in 2013. Now, that concerns me because nobody's talking about that. Because yep. I think the communist goals are being fed through the uh, World Monetary Fund, the Federal Reserve. We're actually funding our enemies to do these very things that you're talking about here. That's, so I think it's a number one problem. Here's another one. Provide American aid to all nations, regardless of communist domination. We Say that again. Provide American aid to all nations, regardless of communist domination. So we're supposed to go out there and take care of the people that don't like us and trying to kill us. I'm asking, do we do that already? Well, we do it. There you go. Oh, absolutely. And the question is, based on these things happening, does communism exist? I'll ask, you to give, of I'll ask you to give a synopsis at the end. How about this one? Grant recognition of what they were called then, Red China, admission of China to the UN. Done. That's happened. Set up in East-West Germany as separate states, which happened for a long time, in spite of Khrushchev's promise in 1995 to settle the German question by free elections under supervision by the UN. Done. Yep. Done and changed again. Since again. Then. Yep. But it was done. It was done. Prolong the conferences to ban atomic tests because the United States has agreed to suspend tests as long as negotiations are in progress. Right. We haven't so tested nuclear weapons in a long time. Just like, just, just exactly how Iran plays it. Negotiate, 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 have no intentions of doing anything about it. And then when all else fails, say we'll negotiate again. And in the meantime, our hands are tied. Absolutely. There's examples all over the place, Glenn, of how this has happened, but a recent one, relatively so, is when the North Koreans negotiated with President Clinton and said they would not develop a nuclear weapon, and it did so under and everybody's they have back. It. And under the Bush administration admitted to the world by testing a nuclear weapon that they have one. Lied through their teeth the whole time. Frustrating to beyond belief. That's a recent example that you could easily look up, so I figured you might want to start there to see if nations always tell the truth. Allow Soviet satellites individual representation into the UN. We certainly did that fair oh, yes. share of. Yep, absolutely done. And so the Russians had several votes in their pocket because they ran the government. So far we're playing right on down the list. We are. How about this one? Promote the UN as the only hope for mankind. Again, I, I see it just the other day on the news where the UN is supposed to be the answer for all these things. If... It is char if its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as a one-world government with its own independent armed forces. That has been proposed a lot. So they haven't done it yet, but they're sure working on it. Well, the UN's got a force. But it's got a, quote, peacekeeping force. They're talking about an independent armed force that can act I independently of what any nation would tell it. That's what they're working on. So they're then a one that, step that, away from that now. Right. Resist so is the UN going to attack the U.S. then when they get it? Is that Who it? knows? Okay, I fine. have no idea yet. I just know what their goals were in 1958. I'm tired of funding them, so anyway. I don't argue that. 
Resist any attempt to outlaw the Communist Party. Absolutely, that's been done. The communists have done a tremendous job, in my opinion, Absolutely. of trying to of, prove they're not communists. Uh, <laughs> and they're, and of deceit. Yes. Absolutely. Using, calling themselves different names, progressives being one Well, look at Agenda 21 being worked through the uh, UN. Mm -hmm. That is strictly a communist bill. Sure it is. Anti-private property rights at its core. At its core. Control of human beings at its outset. Move everybody into condensed areas. Do away with all loyalty oaths. The idea of a pledge of allegiance, a uh, uh, congressman, senators, and other elected representatives taking an oath, military taking an oath, doing away with those things. We're heading that oh, direction. Oh yeah, absolutely. I believe so. Continue to give Russia access to the U.S. Patent Office. <laughs> and they have got like an open flow through there. And so does China but, now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Capture one or both of the political parties of the United States. Is there, any, uh, is there any belief that this kind of movement has not captured at least one of them, and I suspect is heavily influenced in the other? I, I would suspect the that, that, that they're working heartily on that goal, yes. Use te technical decisions, rather, of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. How many times have we seen that? Constantly. The UN's, and now the UN's uh, even sending in observers for our election process. Like, they can tell us how to run an election. Mm -hmm. for, weaken really another nice. civil right. Absolutely get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Understand uh, transmission belts meant that uh, use them as, uh, as the, the basically the, the strong arm to be able to do its work. That's what that's where that term came from in that time. So far you're batting a hundred percent here Greg but finishing that one is soften the curriculum. Boy we've seen that. Oh yes. Get control of teacher associations. Put the party line in the textbooks. Wow. That's enough to wake you up. It's enough to wake you up. We're going to get into more of this at a future date. Maybe even after the break, we'll hit a few more. Stand by, would you? This is Liberty Town Hall. How can this woman be vacuuming her floors? This couple doing housework. They've discovered the Nito XV11 Robotic All Floor Vacuum System. It's the smartest, most powerful robotic vacuum ever. And if you call now, you can try it risk-free with this TV-only deal for 30 days for only $14.95 with free shipping. The Nito cleans all floor surfaces and even carpets. The Nito XV11 takes robotic vacuum power to a much higher level. You may have seen robotic sweeper vacs before. They are not very smart and they have very weak suction. The Nito XV11 not only has a higher IQ, it is a true high-performance vacuum. Call now and you can try the Nito XV11 in your home for 30 days for just $14.95 and shipping is free. But you must call now. This is a limited television only offer. The Nito Robot Vacuum has the power to clean and the brains to do it for you. Finishing out this episode, going over the communist goals in 1958 from a book called The Naked Communist that looked into the communist movement at that time and trying to look at it through the eyes of history and just see how far they've come. Do you think the communists have gained control of all student newspapers? I don't know if they've gained control of all student newspapers is a blanket generic statement, Greg, but I really think that our college campuses is festering communist beliefs, yes. Let's try another one. Use student riots to foment public protest against the programs or organizations which are under communist attack. Absolutely, hands down. They, have you noticed the younger someone is, the more they vote that way, and as they get older, mid-30s, they start realizing how all this comes together, and then they start changing their, their beliefs because they know that that was a mind game when they were younger, but the damage is done because we have the youth that is carrying votes, so yes. This is another goal from the communist 1958 in the Naked Communist publication, infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, and policy making positions. I think the mainstream media has already got that one checked off. Yeah. Gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. Absolutely. Continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American communist cell was told to, quote, eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings, substitute shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms. 
I haven't noticed with that per se until really? you start talking about it. But and then you, you start looking it, you go, at some of the goofiness that's Yeah, in I guess, the yeah, that now. does fit. Yes, it yeah. sure does. Absolutely. Control art critics and directors of art museums. That, of course, to help promote what I just said before. Uh, well, it all goes together, right? Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. Checkbox. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion picture, TV, and radio. <laughs> Howard Stern. You know, I, NYPD <laughs> Blue showing an, uh, naked rear ends. Great. Cursing on cable systems. There's really three different separate movements going on, I believe, right now. Mm -hmm. There's the freedom, free market, capitalist mentality of America. Well, what America was founded on in the Constitution, anyway. Yes. And then there's the uh, Muslim uh, beliefs, and then there's the communist beliefs. And I think that all three of them are in conflict with each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering when these two are going to start having it out with each other and leave us out of it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen that way. I think they're both attacking us because they consider freedom the free thought of a mind. Uh, it's like... Um, if we don't stand up as a, a pillar of beacon for liberty in America, then, then we're really lost to one of these two. The next Liberty Town Hall, we're going to hit on these even harder and hit the rest of the list. You're not going to believe what's next. Join us next time, would you? Thanks for watching today. I'm Greg Marshall, he's Glenn Wilson, and this is Liberty Town Hall. I say the earth belongs to each of these generations during its course fully and in its own right. The second generation receives it clear of the debts and encumbrances of the first, the third of the second, and so on. For if the first should charge it with the debt, then the earth would belong to the dead and not to the living generation. Then no generation can contract debts greater than may be paid during the course of its own existence. Thomas Jefferson, 1789.